Hey guys, it's Sam here and we are here today to do another KiwiCo box. This one is called Color Changing Creatures. They come with the like weather. Yeah, so you're going to build mechanical creatures that change color with the temperature. We can try outside. So let's open it up and see what we have. So we have the book to show you what we're going to do with the color changing creatures. So with this box, you are going to make... You're gonna build a chameleon, build a frog, paint your creatures, and then play a fly catching game. And then we're also going to do color changing coasters to make coasters uh, that reveal a picture when they get hot. So this sounds like a pretty cool um, box to do. So in this crate, you'll explore the science behind color changing creatures. You'll learn why animals shift shades to adapt to their environments and investigate some thermochromic inventions. You'll even build your own color-changing, fly-catching creatures. So does that sound cool? Yeah. And then, of course, it comes with one of these little color-changing creatures books. So it's um, got, like, cute little comic book-style stories. And have animals inside. And it gives you some um, information, yeah. science of chameleons, um, how they do their shade shifting. <gasps> then it gives you, like, extra little projects to do. Like a chameleon it's rainbow. Project. We'll see about that. And some colorful inventions. Um, and a color quest. That um, looks cool. puzzle game. And color changing juice pops that you can make. It's really cool extra stuff to do. So let's jump in. This first video, we are going to do um, part A, building a, a chameleon for the mechanical creatures. I know. We opened up our first bag. So you have, hold on. I want to show them the like, chameleon. You have a handle. We have the chameleon. The tongue piece. The chameleon. Yeah, the chameleon pieces. Um, chameleon connector, which has three circles on it. The chameleon spacer, which oh. is this one. We have a rubber band. You need a rubber band. Don't lose it. Yeah. Some scratchy strip, which is this Velcro scratchy strip. Let me. Sticky foam spacer. Yellow guy. Let me. Some screws. Ooh, so hard. These blue screws. Okay. Uh, Some green spacers. There's our green spacers. We got theirs. Uh, and some brads, guys. I know what to That bend at the end. You can see that. So we got some brads. Step one, poke a brad through the hole in the tongue piece. Where's the tongue piece and where's your brad? This is the tongue piece, that's the screw. Remember what I said the brad was? Oh, the needle. tongue piece has one hole, which we have, this was the piece with the hole. This was the brad, she stuck it through the hole. Then place the rubber band around the brad. Get your rubber band, band. Yep, put it down there on the bottom of it. Good job. Poke the brad through the circled hole on the chameleon connector. So do you remember the chameleon connector? Yeah, you're gonna poke it through. It's a connector has three holes. And you're gonna poke it through the one that has um, like a circle drawn around it. Let me. Poke the brad through. Oh, gotta turn it around. Yep, put it in. Good job. And you're gonna turn it over and you're going to open the brad legs. So this is what it should look like on the bottom. Okay, that was step two. Step three. Poke another brad through the small hole in the handle. Do you remember which the handle? This was the handle. With the, the little? Handle. You're gonna poke it through the small hole. Yep, take the brad, poke it through the small hole. And we Poke replaced. another brad through the small hole in the handle, then through the small hole in the connector. So, remember this was your chameleon piece. This is the chameleon connector. You're gonna poke the brad through the small hole there. Open the brad legs. Both brads should be facing the same way. So you want to make sure that the big parts are on the top and then the legs are on the bottom. So 
Let's spread these. So it should look like this. Brad legs on the bottom, Brad heads at the top, your tongue, your handle, your rubber band. Step four, you're going to find the circled hole on a chameleon piece. So get your chameleon piece, find the circled hole. Yep. So here's your chameleon piece. Here's the circled hole. It's got a circle drawn around it. Poke a screw through the hole from underneath. Yep. So you keep your circled part on top, screw underneath. And twist on a green spacer. Twist, 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 twist. Good job. So it looks like this. Screw on the bottom. The green spacer on top. Okay. Step five, poke screws through the other two holes and twist on green spacers. Make sure all the spacers are nice and tight when you do this. So that was step five was poking screws through the other two holes and twist on green spacers. So it looks like this. Your screws are, the screw heads are on one side. The green spacers on the other. Step six. Oh, slide, I know. Hold on. Slide the middle hole, which is this middle hole, um, on oh, the middle hole on the connector onto the middle spacer. This is the middle spacer. The handle should poke up above the tail. So remember this. Yep, this. the handle goes on the, yep, the tail part here, right? Put that on the middle spacer. Like this? Yep. Good job. So it looks like this, the handle towards the tail, the tongue end, of course, is here, right on the middle spacer. The big hole should be above the chameleon, up here, just like that. Step seven, stretch the rubber band over the plastic spacer near the tail. So we're gonna take the rubber band here and we're going to stretch it across this spacer down here on the tail. Oh, I get it. Yeah. You have to shoot the tongue. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be for the tongue. That's right. It's going to shoot. So it looks like this. You can see the rubber bands on this back spacer. Step eight. Slide the chameleon spacer onto the tongue piece. That's the chameleon spacer. It's so tiny. And you're going to slide it onto the tongue piece. Yeah. Stop and check. The chameleon spacer has a skinny slot and a circle marking. Just like this. You want to use this, not the one without the circle. So we put that on. So step nine, peel the backing off a scratchy strip and fold it around the tip of the tongue. Take the sticky part off of the I didn't know it has scratchy part. strip which is basically Velcro, you put and it fold it around the tip of the tongue. Fold it around the tip of the tongue. Yep. That looks so it cool. Look like that. This looks so cool. Step 10. Slide the chameleon spacer into the slot at the front of the chameleon. So here's the slot, here's the spacer. You're gonna slide it into the, uh, the hole there. Got it. Hold on, it looks like a real Okay, chameleon. so step 11, peel the backing off the sticky foam spacer, which is this yellow yeah. piece, and stick it onto the chameleon's tail. So there we go, we got this. Okay, step 12, stack the other chameleon piece on top so all the holes line up and the chameleon spacer goes into the slot. And this shows all of this being on top, but you can see the chameleon spacer fits into this slot. Step 13, twist a screw through each hole and into the green spacers. Make sure the screws are nice and tight Twist, 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 and then you build the chameleon. You gotta get your screws. We gotta get more screws. Okay. And twist, twist, twist. Bye, can't. And there you have it. We have built a chameleon. What do I do? Now, how to use your chameleon. Step one, hold the chameleon's tail in the palm of your hand. Step two, poke your finger through the hole in the handle. I want to. And pull back to make the tongue poke out. There you go. Release to make it go back in. You try. Yeah. Hold it with this hand. Put this finger through the hole. Pull. Yeah. 
and you've done it. You made a working chameleon. That's all for part A, building the chameleon. Now we have to do part B and building the frog.